What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stock Goat YouTube channel. Be sure to smash the like button. Let's try and get this video over a thousand likes for the YouTube algorithm so more and more people can see this video. Guys, I have an incredible video for you today. This is going to be one of the best videos that we've had in months. We have some updated, you know, filings coming out from some of these big whales that are, you know, updating their holdings and some big money is coming in loading the boat at these levels guys so what does that tell me that tells me that our downside is very very minimal at these levels and our upside is just out of this world if we can get that green light on these student loans in the next six months or less this stock is going to absolutely explode profitability is on the way in a matter of time and our bank charter is about to really take off in q3 so it is just a matter of time for the SoFi stock truly shows its potential guys we already know when the bears talk about oh this stock is bloated too many outstanding shares that is complete bs because we've seen this stock rip over 31 percent in a matter of one day after an earning so it just takes a little bit of volume if the big whales want it to move it will start to move and once again guys ever since earnings my youtube channel has been exploding because this is the number one channel covering the SoFi stock on YouTube. If you search SoFi stock right now, we are the number two channel behind CNBC right now. We know that they have a lot of you know coverings with Liz Young from uh, SoFi. So that's the reason why we go back and forth with CNBC. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. Let's try and get this channel over 15,000 subscribers. Don't forget to drop a comment for the YouTube algorithm. I'm gonna be commenting back to as many people as I can. Let's get into the video. It is very exciting news. All right, guys, after that little sell-off yesterday, it looks like the market is having a green day on a Friday. You rarely see the market green on a Friday. I think it's because we got a while before the Fed comes out and does another rate hike, and we already got inflation data coming down slowly. So S&P 500, 1%, Dow, 1%, NASDAQ, 1.7%, Russell, 1.7% as well. SoFi's doing pretty solid today. It's up 3.4%. We know that SoftBank has been dumping the past three days. Their holdings have dropped from about 93 million or 95 million to around 63 million so they've sold off about uh, 30 million shares or so but i'm telling you right now there is other big whales coming in that are cleaning up those shares extremely fast mark cap right now is still right around 7 billion or so so we're trading at like four times revenue and if we project our future revenue growth guys this stock is trading at like three times sales or something like that we're following 109 growth stocks. We can see uh, we got some red, A Point, Fubu, Mastercard, Best Buy, uh, some 1% gainers, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, Okta, 2% gainers. We got PayPal, Match, Lending Club. This is the middle uh, tier right here, about 60. Uh, some 3% gainers. We got DocuSign, Roblox, SoFi is at 39. That's a pretty solid day overall, but there is some growth stocks ripping today. Uh, Payoneer is up 19%, Peloton 15%. Charge Point and DraftKings are the winners today, guys, up 10 and 13%. So some growth stocks are really bouncing back. I believe Charge Point and DraftKings have both a pull doubles from the bottom guys so these were both like eight to nine dollar stocks and they're trading at 18 and 20 so DraftKings and charge point have pulled some doubles i believe sofi's doubling could be any given moment remember we we're at about five dollars we got to get to ten dollars to get a double uh, off the bottom and i think it's any given moment if we get some good news uh, the stock's gonna rip past ten dollars immediately so take a look at this video i did on february 14th yes guys i've been covering this stock forever because i saw the true potential in sofi prior to them getting their bank charter and you can see this video is uh titled sofi stock vanguard increases ownership by 12 percent." so this was what four or five months ago they had about 54 million shares. So let's just listen to what I had to say. Vanguard Group. I already did a video two, three, maybe four months ago that Vanguard was buying. But take a look, guys. They increased the ownership by 12.2%, okay? So this brought them up to 53 million shares worth 844. All right, guys, so they had 53 million shares just a couple of months ago. Like I said in the beginning of this video, the filings are coming in. They are being updated right now, and it is looking extremely good. So take a look, guys. 812, that is today. Vanguard Group, they had about 53 million shares. Boom, they are now up to 62 million shares, a 21% increase. So as SoFi stock completely collapsed the past six months, so they added another 8 million shares plus 
This is extremely bullish, guys. I believe if we go to the top, you know, they might be the biggest holder right now, uh, right next to SoftBank at 63 million shares. And we have another video of when I was covering BlackRock, February 10th. They added about 8.6 million shares. Let's listen to the video. This is BlackRock Holdings for SoFi. Right here is going to be the percentage gain, you know, of added, you know, shares added. They had a 62% increase in shares added. They are now at 22 million shares worth 300 and all right guys remember that 22 million shares for blackrock uh four months plus ago 812 filing blackrock has now increased to 30 million shares that's a 78 percent increase these guys added 8 million shares so Basically, both of them added 8 million shares. Vanguard added 8 million and BlackRock added 8 million while SoftBank has been dumping. So these are some massive institutions coming in. If we just go to the top to see who owns the most shares right now, we could see we have BlackRock at number four and Vanguard at number two, guys. So these guys are buying the crap out of SoFi at these levels. And that's because they are forward looking. They know this bank charter is about to take off. They know student loans are on the way. And these big whales are loading up these dips. So even though SoftBank is selling, I just don't see a lot of downside from here. I see insane upside. We have massive, massive, you know, roadblocks in front of us with these student loans. Once that roadblock clears, we are off to the moon, guys. This stock is performing extremely well. We've went through all of the earnings for other companies. And SoFi is one of the only companies whose losses declined in this environment. That's because the bank charter is an extremely powerful tool and SoFi is able to use their deposits. And we've also seen a massive increase in their deposits as of the past couple of months. So guys, it doesn't get any more bullish than this right now. When you have BlackRock and Vanguard coming in, you know, buying close to, you know, 20 million shares plus on the nasty sell-off we've had these past couple of months, that's what you truly want to see, okay? SoftBank has to bail because they've made uh, dozens of other bad investment decisions and they need to acquire as much cash as possible and they don't have time to wait around for a big return on the SoFi stock. But guys, when I see these big you know, whales coming in, I get extremely bullish because they are going to be holding up our you know, low levels around you know, seven bucks and I think the upside is unbelievable because SoFi has massive tailwinds on the way with these student loans guys you can see EBITDA jump you know 100 150 million dollars in 2023 as soon as these student loans come back and I believe this bank charter is going to take us to a next level uh deposits potentially could grow to you know five to ten billion dollars in the next year or so it's just a matter of time we're literally about to get into NFL season and they are increasing their APY right around NFL season where you know there's going to be maximum exposure so be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. Be sure to uh, drop a comment. I'm going to be commenting back to as many people as I can. And be sure to smash the like button, guys. We're going to be keeping you updated daily. This is the number one YouTube channel covering the SoFi stock. My name is Kyle. Hope you have a great day.